Hootsuite, in essence, is an all-in-one social media management platform that allows business to simply create, schedule, engage, monitor, and connect social media channels and content together in a single streamlined and user-friendly online dashboard. Hey team, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Now today we're going to dive into an updated Hootsuite tutorial for beginners. Today's focus is to show you how your small business can get started with Hootsuite and make the most of all the essential features, tools and integrations that will make your social media activities and growing your audience an absolute breeze. Okay, now before we launch into Hootsuite, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online in 2021. And with that out of the way, let's waste no more time and get started with this leading social media management platform called Hootsuite. <music> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started from scratch so we can walk you through the entire process of getting started with Hootsuite. So first things first, what we need to do is head over to Hootsuite.com and that's going to take you to this interface. Then all we need to do is navigate up to plans. Today, we're going to come down and focus on Hootsuite's professional plan. We're going to jump into the free 30-day trial. And if you realize that Hootsuite works for your small business, then you can upgrade to the paid plan. And depending on the size of your team that needs access to Hootsuite, you can upgrade to the team plan or just stick with the professional plan. So with the professional plan, you have one user and the team plan has three users. However, we have found that the professional plan is sufficient for small businesses and small teams, as in most cases, you only need one individual within your small team that needs to access and manage your social media accounts. So what we're gonna do is navigate over to free 30 day trial and click here. And here we just need to go ahead and add our personal details. Then come down and click create my account. Then here Hootsuite is going to request your billing information. All you need to do is enter in your billing information here. You can choose your billing cycle yearly, which will give you four months for free, or you can be charged monthly. This is completely up to you. Now remember you're on a 30 day free trial, meaning that you won't be charged till the end of your 30 day free trial. So within your 30 day free trial, you have a good amount of time to test and trial and experiment with Hootsuite to see if this social media management platform works for you and your small business. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fill out our billing information and then simply navigate down to start my free trial. Then down here, Hootsuite's going to prompt you to get started and connect three social media channels. So what we're going to do is come down and select Facebook. We want to connect our Facebook business page to Hootsuite so we can start managing this social media platform through Hootsuite and you can do that with any of these social media platforms. Remember you can select up to 10 social media accounts. So we're going to go ahead and select Facebook and all we need to do to connect our social media accounts to Hootsuite is follow the step-by-step -step process that Hootsuite will guide us through. So what we're going to do is continue as Stuart and you can see that we're already logged into my account. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue as Stuart. And then here you can manage your access between Hootsuite and Facebook. But what we're going to do is come down here and click OK. Here you need to select the Facebook pages that you want to connect to Hootsuite. So we're going to come down and select this business page. And you can see that this business page is now connected. You can add others if you like, but we're going to come down and click Done. Then you can go ahead and select a Facebook ad account that you want to connect to Hootsuite. But what we're going to do is skip this because we just want to focus on organic marketing through Hootsuite. So come down and click done. And just like that, you can see that our Facebook business page is now connected to Hootsuite. Now what we need to do is connect two more social media accounts to Hootsuite in order for us to access and see all our social media accounts in one place. Now we've already showed you the process of connecting your Facebook business page to Hootsuite. What we want to do now is connect Instagram and LinkedIn. However, you can connect any of these other social media platforms, accounts if you like. It's a very similar process to what we showed you when we connected our Facebook business page. So go ahead and connect two more accounts and then what we'll do is meet you back here 
and continue into Hootsuite together. So we're going to go ahead and quickly connect Instagram and LinkedIn and then meet you back here. And as you can see, we now have three social media accounts. We've added our Facebook business page, our Instagram business page, and our LinkedIn company page, all with Hootsuite. So now what we want to do is go ahead and click continue. And congratulations guys, just like that, we've completed the initial setup of connecting three social media accounts and we've now arrived on Hootsuite's dashboard. What we wanna do now is navigate up to streams on the left hand side and then come down and click OK, got it. And welcome to your all-in-one social media management interface. Now what we're gonna do is deep dive into Hootsuite and cover everything you need to know to make the most of the tools and features within Hootsuite so that you can better manage your social media channels all in one place. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into creating and managing new boards and streams, what we wanna do is show you how to connect additional social media accounts to Hootsuite. So at the moment, we've already connected three social media accounts. We've connected our Facebook business page, our Instagram account, and our LinkedIn company page. Now to add additional social media networks, all you need to do is navigate up to the top and click add social network. Here you can select the social media channel that you want to connect to Hootsuite. Now we've already showed you how to connect social media channels to Hootsuite. It's a very straightforward process. So if you want to go ahead and add additional social networks, you can do so here. Or you can navigate up here, exit out of that and navigate down to your profile, which is in the bottom left hand corner. Here you just need to simply click on social networks and teams. And then next to your other social media channels that you've already connected, you can click private account. And again, here is another place that you can connect your other social media channels. So what we're going to do is exit out of that and then navigate back to our streams. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, what we're going to do is just stick to our three boards, our three social media channels. Now under your streams dashboard, this is where you're going to spend most of your time when it comes to managing your social media channels. Firstly, we need to understand your boards. As you can see, we have three boards and these are our three social media channels that we connected to Hootsuite. And to simply rename your boards, all you need to do is click on the board that you want to rename. So think about your boards as the social media channels that you've connected to Hootsuite. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly rename each of my boards to Facebook page, Instagram and LinkedIn. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and cleaned up the names of my boards. This just makes my board list more presentable and easier to understand. Now, when you click on each of your boards, for example, we have LinkedIn selected. Within our LinkedIn board, you will notice three streams on the right hand side. These streams are essentially live activities that are happening on our LinkedIn company page. For example, over on the left hand side, we have our company page updates. We have scheduled posts. Currently, we don't have any scheduled posts. However, we could go ahead and create a scheduled post if we like. And then on the far right hand side, we can go ahead and create a new stream, depending on the information that you want to access. For example, your posts, comments or posts that mention your page, messages and more. So for example, for our third stream, I might want to access our messages. And as you can see, I can go ahead and create a fourth stream for this particular board. But I'm going to leave this board as just the three streams and then navigate across so that I can see all my three streams. You can see I have my messages over here, scheduled posts when I start scheduling posts and then company updates on the left hand side. Again, I can go ahead and add an additional stream if I like. I can navigate over to view as standard and click here and then change my layout view to compact or comfortable, but I'm happy with standard. I can also go ahead and engage on each of these streams. For example, this is company updates. So I could go ahead and reply to comments. Say for example, if someone commented on my company updates, I can go ahead and reply to those comments. I can also click more actions and send an email or create a comment stream. With scheduled posts, I can go ahead and create a scheduled post within the stream and on messages, I can simply come down and select a message and go ahead and view the conversation and reply to the individual. What I'll do is exit out of that. And the same goes for my Instagram board and all my other boards that I decide to create. 
To create a new board, I can simply click new board and then navigate over to get started. Then simply click on the drop down next to the social media channel and select the social media channel that you want to create a new board for. However, we've already created a board for each of these social media channels, so we're going to leave that for now and navigate back to our LinkedIn board. You will also notice that my messages are from my Facebook business page. What I can do is actually delete that. Let's say for example that was an accident, I could come down and click delete stream and navigate to the drop down next to Facebook page. I want this board to have streams only from our LinkedIn company page. And as you can see, I only have two options for my streams, scheduled and updates. And I already have those two streams in place. So I'm happy with the two streams over here. What I can do is head back to my Facebook page board and add the messages stream from Facebook to our Facebook page board. And with that, I'm happy with my three boards for now. You can see that under my Facebook page board, I have three streams, messages, scheduled, and my posts. Within our Instagram board, we have two streams. We have my posts and scheduled. I'll leave that as it is. I can go ahead and create an additional stream if I like. And then within our LinkedIn board, again, we only have two streams. So go ahead and add the streams that are relevant to each of the social media platforms that you want to manage, monitor and engage on. Now, before we go ahead and show you how to create and publish or schedule a post, what we want to do is make sure all our account settings are correct. So navigate down to my profile and then click on account settings, preferences and billing. Then under accounts, what we want to do is navigate down to your time zone. You want to make sure that your time zone is correct. I'm happy with this time zone because my audience is based in New Zealand. This is the Pacific Auckland time zone that I need when I go ahead and schedule posts within Hootsuite. So make sure your time zone is correct. Then you'll also notice other account details that you can take the time to go through. But what we're going to do is exit out of that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new post. Navigate up to create. Here we can come across and create a post, pin, Instagram story. What we're going to do is create a post. First, what we need to do is select the social media accounts that we want to post to. So for us, we want to create a post that's going to simultaneously be posted to our Facebook business page, Instagram business page, and our LinkedIn company page. So essentially what I'm going to do is create a post that's going to be sent to each of these three social media accounts as soon as this post goes live. Then here what we're going to do is add our written text and a link that goes to a video we want to add in this post. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and added text to our social media post. We've also added a link down here that goes to a YouTube video. Now you can see in the preview area what our post will look like on our Facebook business page. If we navigate down, you can see what your post will look like on Instagram and on LinkedIn. You can see that this post won't look very attractive on Instagram because links don't show up as media on Instagram. So what we're going to do is actually go ahead and remove Instagram as a channel that we want to post to with this particular post. You can see down here we have the media that we've added, which is just the link up here. So that's automatically been generated down here. I can also delete this if I want and open media from the media library. So if I click here, basically what that allows me to do is select any media that I like from Hootsuite's media library. But I'm happy with my link down here. I can also go ahead and shorten my link. So if I click shorten link with Auli, and as you can see, this link is now shortened. So you can see that this is the link that will appear on the post. This is already quite a short link. So you can see that the characters basically remain the same. However, if your link is relatively long, it is recommended that you use Auli to shorten that link and make it more attractive in the eyes of your audience. Then if we scroll down here, we can also go ahead and add media in here if we like. So if we have images we want to add or videos, we can simply drag and drop those files in here, or we can select the files and upload them to Hootsuite. We can also browse your media that you've already uploaded to Hootsuite. Then you have other options down here, but because this is a beginner's tutorial, we're not going to cover these options. Then when you're happy with your new post, you can come down here and schedule for later if you like. You can also post now, or you can select the options up here, save as draft, post and reuse accounts, post and duplicate. So the two main options are post now if you're ready to post and publish your new post, 
or you can simply go ahead and schedule for later. What we want to do is schedule this post for a later date. So we're going to go ahead and select Monday for next week, then come down here and select your time. So I'm happy with this date and time. I'm going to click done. Then when you're ready to schedule your post to be distributed across the platforms that you've chosen, simply click schedule. And that's going to take a moment for your request to be active. Now, what will happen when you've created a post is you'll be taken to your publisher. So your publisher is under your streams. Basically, the publisher is your calendar for your social media activity. So think of it as your content calendar. You can see that on April the 12th on the Monday at 2.20 p.m. we have two posts, one on the Facebook business page and one being released on our LinkedIn company page. You can simply click on each post and then edit, delete or see more information. For example, duplicate or move to drafts. We can also navigate up to content and then come down to scheduled and then see your two scheduled posts over here. You can also see your drafts, past scheduled, required approval, expired approvals and rejected. Then if we navigate down to inbox below publisher, you can see all your messages in one place. These are all your messages, comments that are coming from all your different social media channels that you've connected to Hootsuite. And lastly, what we want to briefly mention is the app integrations. If we come down to your profile and then navigate up to app directory, this is where you can further maximize your activities within Hootsuite. Basically, you can integrate some of these apps that are important to you. For example, if you're a local business and you use Google My Business to interact with customers, you can install this application and start engaging with your customers through Google My Business, however, through Hootsuite. Essentially, Hootsuite can be your go-to all-in-one destination to manage the interactions with your customers, prospects, your audience across all your social media channels. And that is essentially everything we wanted to cover in today's beginner's tutorial to help you get started with Hootsuite and start managing your social media platforms all in one place. Okay guys, that is it for this comprehensive walkthrough to help you get going with Hootsuite. Now, if you have any questions about this Hootsuite tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below. And we will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.